This is it. The last two parts of this final HOH competition could be the difference between winning $500,000 and going home empty handed. All right, Ian, you're back. You're back. Yeah, and it, I am. <laughs> it's a long awaited second all-star season. What was your reaction when you got the call? I was definitely a little bit uh, excited about it for sure. Um, <laughs> you know, I was working at the time uh, as a management consultant and I, you know, I wasn't really in love with it. So anything to just break up the monotony of uh, 2020 pandemic, you know, seems exciting and fun. So <laughs> you're like, get me out of this pandemic. Exactly. Get me out of this quarantine and actually into a quarantine right. where I can hug people. <laughs> right. It's kind of like that, uh, that tweet about like the astronauts leaving earth and it being a good choice. Like, that's how I feel. It's kind of funny. I think, you know, the world has always watched Big Brother and thought, wow, what it must be like to be locked in that house. It must be crazy. Now we're all going to be locked in houses while watching you guys locked in a house, but actually you guys get to like touch each other and come yeah. with <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's going to be nice. I'm actually like kind of looking forward to it because I don't have to even think about it. So I mean, really good. Could this be one of the first times where people are sort of jealous of live what life I think is so. like. I mean, I, I'm I'm actually looking forward to the living conditions in there. It's gonna be pretty yeah. nice. Frank's vote goes to congratulations. <laughs> A winner. You're coming yeah, back now correct. and you won. Will you have a target on your back right away? I think I will, uh, definitely. I mean, there's just no question about it. Um, you know, last time when I played the returning players, they kind of had like a buffer a few weeks. This time, as far as I know, we're, you know, vulnerable right off the hot. So I think there's going to be a target. Um, that being said, I mean, you never know who's going to be in there. So hopefully bigger targets. Do you have the same hunger to win you had before? And has the way you played the game uh, at all? I think that um, it's, it's interesting. I think that like the monetary hunger is not there, um, but more is obviously good. So I think, uh, I mean, it's pretty close. I mean, I'm definitely uh, excited to get in there and give it a shot. And if I'm gonna play the same, yeah, I probably am. I think, uh, I think what I had last time was solid, so I'm just gonna try to do that again. So you're a little more financially stable now, it sounds like. Correct. Not a broke college student. <laughs> didn't, didn't blow through the money. What did you do with the money the first time? Well, I paid off my student loans, I invested, I bought a car, and I put a really nice down payment on a house. Wow, so, you were a sensible college student. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for 21, not bad. So this time, do you like blow it a little bit more? Like, do you get yourself? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, a little bit. I mean, I, I would say that it's more investment money for for this. But uh, I mean, if I want to buy like something really, uh, really, really stupid, then I might just do that. What would that one what lap? Would, what would it be? I don't know. Um, I haven't really even thought about it too much. I guess um, I've been looking at like BMW bikes, like the oh. motorcycles. I, like, I mean, they're just kind of stupid, but seems fun. So you're heading in and you know, when you first found out Big Brother was still going to go ahead and film even with yeah. the pandemic, what was your reaction? I mean, it does seem like one of those shows that, that could really pull this off, could really film and be safe because people are in quarantine. Yeah, I actually thought about it. Um, and I was like, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense because, you know, it's not like people are coming in and out of the house all the time. You know, once you're out, you're out. So you know, I definitely thought it seemed pretty reasonable. I mean, obviously there's like, you know, people building stuff for us and bringing food in, but you know, other than that, pretty safe space. What's it been like to get the COVID-19 tests done and to be in the bubble before going into the house? That's been pretty strange. It's actually, I mean, it's not that different than what I was used to, right? right. So, I mean, it's, I mean, it's kind of nice because I've kind of had like a general, like, ease into it just a little bit from totally normal back in you know january february to 
completely isolated. So true. I mean, it almost might be like you go in there and it's, oh, people, this is, this is great. Right, right. It's probably going to be the most people I've like been in a room. I mean, it for sure is, uh, been in a room with since like February. So, wow. Yeah. What will it be like to set foot in there again, to see Julie Chen again? I'm kind of like bracing myself for that. I mean, I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be difficult for sure. I know like, uh, looking back, it's, it's really strenuous. Um, I mean, just like the way the house smells is just like, it's going to probably bring me right back. So what is it definitely, like? um, it's just like this forced air and yeah, it's just, it almost smells like uh, stale. Like it's this really stale smelling soundstage, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you're, yeah. you know, it, it's the past, it's the memories, it's the- Right, the nostalgia, <laughs> yeah. When you do set foot in there, you know, you don't know who, who will be joining you, mm -hmm. but you knew this was All Stars, so as right. your mind wandered, who are you excited to see and who would you be nervous if they were I think, in there? I think, like, the people that I'm definitely nervous about are the ones from the, the really recent seasons. Um, it's just, well, one, I haven't watched them, so I don't know anything about them. And on top of that, I know that when I first got off the show, you're really close with those folks like the people that are on their seasons near you. And I've been kind of like out of the mix for a while. So if they're all buddies outside of here uh, and then I go in, I don't have anyone, then that's going to be a problem. What do you think is your greatest weapon? Uh, I think uh, the fact that I'm smart. I mean, I feel like that's just the general, you know, ace in the hole for me in this game. You know who you're afraid of. You know who you'd be excited to see. Anyone who you have thought, you know, if they were in there, Maybe a little showmance would happen for me. Uh, not this time. So I'm I'm spoken for. So mm -hmm. that's off the table. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be hard uh, to be in there knowing you're missing the person you care yeah. about on the outside? Yeah, that, that's going to be tough. That's going to be definitely tough, for sure. How are you going to handle it? Um, I honestly don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm having a hard time now, to be quite honest. So just going to remember that that's you know, it's not, we're not going anywhere. It's just gonna continue at the end of this. So could we potentially see any breakdowns from you? I don't think so. I mean, I, I'd be pretty surprised by that. I don't think there's gonna be any like breakdowns. I'm kind of going into this with like the fact that it's just like a bonus. So if I win, then great. If I don't, well, I, I already won once. So I don't, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is just bonus baseball. Bonus big brother, you could say. Well, my last question for you, since you have already won once, if anything, this time around, what do you want to prove? That I still got it, you know? That I, even though I'm older, I can still have uh, have a good time and play, play the game smart, you know? I still have it.